afternoon, everyone. Happy Monday. It's Meditation Mondays again, and I hope you're well. We're going to have a great topic today. We're going to talk about gratitude and how important that is to create miracles in your life because it's true and it does happen. So my name's Robin Wyman. I think most of you probably know me by now, but I own a company called Circle of Life Center, and I also have just started a new um, business called The Calm Village. And I help people who are going through very challenging times like this COVID experience or just a lot of stress and anxiety. And I use holistic uh, means to help support them. And one of the tools that I teach people is meditation and mindfulness. As you know, they go hand in hand. So it's a pleasure to be here to talk to you about this and be guiding you on Mondays through these meditations. So we'll start again. I, you know what I am like for clearing the chakras and balancing them and grounding. So we're going to start with those two um, exercises and then we'll go into the gratitude meditation. So just take a moment. Let's just take a few breaths and get here. I was just out this morning, so I just got in, so I need it too. So let's just breathe nicely, deeply into our belly for th three times and exhaling through our mouth. And you can make a sound if you want, or you can be silent, whichever you choose. So let's go. So inhaling. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. And last time. And exhale. Lovely. So you can set your intention to be focused for this time that we have together and pay attention and aware around what, what you're noticing and sensations and things that are coming up for you. It's, this is what the beauty is of meditation. It's such a beautiful practice for helping us with that, to understand ourselves better, to, under, to, to watch our thoughts, to see awareness around what we're thinking, what we're feeling, what's coming up for us, because stuff is coming up for everyone today. As we know, it's, we're in this time and there's a lot of um, stress and anxiety, which is completely natural for what we're going through. But in this hour, we are here now, we're present, we're in this moment, the sun's shining, it's a beautiful summer day, so let's enjoy this. So we're going to start with our grounding, and at last week I introduced something new, and I'd like to do follow through with that again. So imagine that you've got a tube of then the color is going to be copper. So a tube of light, which is a copper color. And around the outside of that tube is a spiraling copper coil that wraps around this tube color copper. And at each end of this tube, we are going to put plug plugins that you would pl like electrical that you would plug into the electrical outlook. So you're just going to put one at the bottom and you're going to put one at the top. And we're going to start in our root chakra. So I invite you to just close your eyes, get comfortable. And I want you to focus on your root chakra, which is at the base of your tailbone. And we are just spinning that chakra. Infusing it with that beautiful color red. And we're starting to put our focus on this grounding cord. And with our next breath, we're moving out of our chakra and we're going to go down through wherever you are, the floor, the chip. First, you're going to go through the chair then we're going to go through the floor. I'm in an apartment, so I have to go through a couple more floors till we reach the foundation of the building. With our next breath, we're going down further through the foundation, through the rocks and the sediment, in through the dirt, 
further down, we're going through that outer crust of the earth. As we're dropping down with that energy, we're that tube of energy we are going down through, we may go through a cave, How about a beautiful crystal clay cave with quartz. With our next breath, we're going down further. Maybe we're going into a aquifer, which is an underground stream or in through an underground lake. And we're just dropping that, that cord down further and further and further and further. Until we reach the center of the earth. And what we're going to visualize is taking that outlet and we're plugging in to the center of the earth. And as I always love that analogy, like you're a boat that's anchoring on the floor of the, the base of the ocean. The boat moves, but the anchor and the line that connects us is always fluid. And that's what you're going to visualize. It's a fluid connection. With our next breath, we're taking that energy all the way back up to our root chakra, the base of your tailbone. So let's just bring that energy up. knowing you're connected, you're supported. The earth always is supporting us. With our next breath, we're gonna go back down to the center of the earth and connect back down. With our next breath, we're bringing it right back up to our root chakra, feeling that connection visualizing being connected, however that works for you. We're gonna take one more breath, going down to the center of the earth. And with our next breath, we're coming up, back up to the root chakra. This time we're gonna keep going up we're going up our spine. We have 33 vertebrae in our spine and it is also our spinal cord. So all our um, nervous system is in our spine. So we're coming back up through your spine. With our next breath, we're going all the way up to the base of our neck. With our next breath, we're going up through our head and out through the top of our head, which is our crown chakra. And we're just going further up the chakras. We have another seven above us. So we're going up through those chakras and we're plugging into the source. So when you feel you're there, just take that electrical um, plug in and just put it in. So you're connected with source and you're connected with the center of the earth through this beautiful copper wire cording. With our next breath, we're going to bring that energy all the way back down through those upper chakras, the 12th chakra, the 11th chakra, the 10th chakra, the 9th chakra, the 8th chakra, in through our crown, which is our 7th chakra, down through our back of our head into our spinal cord, and all the way back down our spinal cord into our root chakra, and we're taking it down with our next breath, all the way back down to the center of the earth. So we're gonna just do three breaths, bringing that energy up from the base center of the earth all the way up to source. So in our breath, we're just going 
connecting to source, exhaling. With our next breath, we're taking that energy, running it all the way back down, down through our spine, all the way through, down to the center of the earth. With our next breath, we're taking that back all the way up to the center of the center, up to source. Feeling that connection of the divine connection. And then bringing it all the way back down to the center of the earth. <clears throat> Knowing that you are connected. You are supported. You are safe. And we're going to take one last breath and we're going to come back up into our root chakra, which is at the base of our tailbone. And we're going to start clearing our chakras and balancing them. So with this, we just start to infuse that chakra, the root chakra, with that beautiful color ruby red. And we're going to be spinning it counterclockwise. We're just letting go of anything that's keeping us not feeling safe, not feeling secure everything that root chakra is all about safety and security so we're just spinning out whatever needs to leave and it's okay you may see colors you may not even know but just you trusting that you're just clearing out what's not serving you in the moment we just keep spinning that chakra And if you're feeling a little bit anxious and, and wondering about things about security and safety, this is your chakra you want to work with. This is our root. It's our foundation. So we just keep spinning that color. Beautiful. It's infusing out into our auric field, our light field, our etheric body. And we're just infusing that with that beautiful color of ruby red. And remember, we've got that beautiful color of copper on the outside of that. Lovely. With our next breath, we're coming in and we're spinning our chakra clockwise. We're just spinning it and spinning it and spinning it. It's just vibrant. This vibrant ruby red is just flooding our body and out into our field. With our next breath, we're moving up to our sacral chakra, which is our second chakra, and it's two fingers below our belly button. This is our creative center. It's where we manifest from. Our sexual organs are located in this, this chakra, and we infuse it with the color orange. And we're just going to start spinning that chakra counterclockwise, spinning out. So if you're feeling that you're not feeling so creative, you're feeling a bit blocked, this is your chakra to work with. And it's as simple as just infusing it with that color orange and just spinning it counterclockwise. Whenever we want to release something, we want to spin counterclockwise. When we want to bring something in, we spin clockwise. So just envision this beautiful color orange flooding that chakra. Everything is just leaving. It's balancing and grounding. And with our next breath, we're infusing it and we're turning it clockwise. And again, infusing it more with that beautiful, beautiful, vibrant orange. And I want you to just visualize that color infusing through that chakra all through your body and out into your field. It's just flooding your body and your field with this beautiful orange. With our next breath, we're moving up to our solar plexus, which is our third major chakra. And we are infusing it with the color yellow. It is just below your rib cage, 
pretty much very close to where the top of your diaphragm. So we're just infusing it with the color yellow and we're spinning it counterclockwise again. We're just spinning and spinning and spinning. You know, for some, if you'd like, imagine it's the color, the sun is just infusing into your sacral so, um, solar plexus chakra. We're spinning that chakra counterclockwise, just removing whatever needs to let be let go. Again, this chakra is all about how we manifest and actually create and actually put our, our ideas into action. So when you say, I'm going to bake a cake, you think about it and you think about it and you think about it. It's when you actually make the cake. This is that chakra. When you want to create anything you want to create, it's when you take the action, this is that chakra. So if you're feeling the chakras a bit stagnant or sluggish, work and unwind this chakra and infuse it with that beautiful color. With our next breath, we're going to start spinning that chakra clockwise. And we're just letting that beautiful, beautiful sun-colored yellow infuse through that chakra out into our body and out into our field. It's just magnificent. Beautiful. So it's infusing with that beautiful copper, ruby red, orange and yellow is just all infusing together. We're moving up into our heart, in our heart chakra, and we're going to infuse that with the color emerald green. I just want you to start spinning that chakra and letting go of all the things that have ouches we've had or hurts we've had. We tend to close our hearts off when we've been hurt in our lives and we just want to open that up so we can receive beautiful, beautiful things in our lives. So we're just spinning that chakra over and over and over again. This is a chakra we can actually do spend a lot of time working on because we've all got owies and when we have them, we close ourselves off. We, a lot of us have suffered heartache or things in life that have hurt us and we will close that off. So spinning the chakra helps open that up. With our next breath, we're spinning that chakra clockwise and we are infusing it with that beautiful emerald green and just, just fill that chakra see it flowing into your body as well out into your field. Remember our auric field is quite big but we're, for this purposes we're going to say it's about three feet in front so it's about three feet out from you and just infusing it with this beautiful emerald green. With our next breath, we're going to our high heart, which is our thymus gland. It's located, it's a breastbone, so located between your breasts. And I want you to start spinning that chakra and, and clockwise, and we're infusing it with the color pink. This chakra is all about, it's our high heart, but it also is our thymus gland is located here, and that supports our immunity. And we really want to focus on our immunity and keeping our immunity high. So let's just spin the chakra. Beautiful. And with our next breath, we're spinning the mm -hmm. chakra clockwise and infusing that with this beautiful pink. It's flowing in through that chakra, in through our body, and Visualize it moving out into your field. So you've got these beautiful colors, copper, ruby red, orange, yellow, emerald green, and pink. Just fusing all together.
with our next breath, we're moving up into our throat chakra and we're infusing that with the color turquoise blue and we are spinning it counterclockwise again. We're just gonna spin this chakra, spin your chakra. This chakra is all how we communicate to each other. Are we being heard? Did they understand what I was trying to communicate? Am I able to communicate what I need to express? If that's an issue for you, work with this chakra. And again, it's as simple as just spinning it with turquoise blue and spinning it clockwise to unwind and allow whatever is blocking those blocks to, to release. With our next breath, we're spinning that chakra clockwise and we're just spinning and spinning and spinning. Infusing that chakra with that color, that turquoise blue, moving in through our chakra, in through our body and out into our field. And with our next chakra, we are moving up into our third eye, which is located between your eyebrows. And we're infusing that color with an indigo blue color, which is dark, dark, dark blue with purples in th threaded through it. It's sort of a combination. So we're just spinning that chakra counterclockwise again. This chakra is, is all about helping our glands of our brain, our, our different hemispheres of the brain. It works on your eyes, your nose and your ears. It helps with our balance, our hormonal system. And it also expands us into our gifts, that clear knowing, hearing, feeling and seeing. So we're spinning that chakra counterclockwise. You get things like headaches or, or you feel a lot of pressure in your head. This is a good exercise to do. They work with this chakra, spinning the chakra. And with our next breath, we're going to spin it clockwise and infuse that beautiful indigo blue through our brain through our body and out into our field. And just spin that clockwise, just balancing and recalibrating our chakra. Beautiful. And finally, we're moving up into our crown. This is where our crown chakra is. It's located at the top of your head in the middle. And this is called the thousand petaled lotus in yoga. They'll talk about that a lot. So just envision this chakra opening up like a beautiful flower, just unfolding. And it's just pure white light. And just spin that chakra open. And we know that everything is white light. And then when it goes through a prism, it diffuses into all these other colors. So we've got the white diffusing into the indigo blue, the turquoise blue, pink, emerald green, yellow, orange, ruby red and copper. And I just like you to just sit quietly for a moment and just visualize all these colors flowing out through these chakra points, through your body, into your organs, into your muscles, into your tissues, into your cells, and then out into your field. And it's just this beautiful, beautiful dance of all these colors. It's magnificent. 
let's just take a minute and just breathe here. I'd like to add one thing. I want you to visualize coming from source down through your crown chakra, that beautiful green mixed with gold, all spinning together, coming in through your crown and working its way all through your body. Just letting it like a waterfall just wash over you. With your next breath, I want you to bring it up into your heart center, and I want you to breathe this color out to the edge of your field. So about three feet out, just envision that, breathing that color out. And with your exhale, breathing it back in. Exhaling the color out into your field infusing that field, mixing with all the other colors, and then bringing it back in. With your next breath, let's bring it back out into your field. And then bring it back in. And with our next breath, I want you to visualize like a pebble when it drops into the water in a pond. And I want you to just see this ripple flowing out from you and going everywhere into our nature, all across the world. This is beautiful, loving energy to send out to the planet and the people and the plants and the animals, everything at this time. It's a beautiful, loving gesture. gesture. And let's just take a, a minute to just start to come back. If you're able to, please touch your hands, wiggle your to fingers and your toes. If you're not able to, that's fine. If you're able to just touch your body and gently open your eyes. Mm. I want you to thank you for doing that expanded breath today and sending that color out to the world. You know, we, we all need it. And as we gather in groups, we're so powerful together. We make a difference. We do make a difference. So thank you, thank you, thank you for doing that today. So our meditation focus today is on gratitude. And I'm just going to get a little closer. It's on gratitude. And I love gratitude. Gratitude has huge. It changed my life because it opens up everything. So often we're thinking about what we don't have and what we want instead of being grateful for what we actually do have in this moment because we have have so much. We are all so, so blessed. So I'm thinking about things like, you know, we're able to go and turn a tap on and get water that is clean. And a lot of places in the world doesn't have that. We walk in and I can have a shower. We can have a shower. So to be grateful for just having a shower, clean water to drink, 
I have an amazing bed. I bought it about five years ago, but it's so comfortable. And I have the best sleeps and I am so grateful for that bed. I could also say for myself, I'm grateful for my children and the opportunities that have come in my life. But I'm thinking of just little things like sometimes I just go, I'm so grateful of my feet because they support me. I'm so grateful for my eyes because I can see or my ears so because I can hear. You know, and I'm also so grateful to be able to share um, these meditations with you on Mondays. It's just been a blessing for me to be able to do this. I play a little game um, with, with the world. I play this little game. And this morning I was at, going to a physio appointment, physiotherapy. And I was driving and I go, well, I'm so grateful for my parking spot that's going to be right out front of where I'm going. And you know what? There it was. I always call them my, my angels. Where's my parking spot, angels? And as I walked in today, there I went to the elevator. I was running a bit late, so I, was, I didn't want to be late for my appointment. And I came in to the elevator, and the woman was, it was, door was closing. And she said, oh, here, I'll open it for you. And I just popped in. And I smiled because I go, thank you, universe. Thank you. Because the, I could have had to wait. It's a slow elevator, but it wasn't. I got right in. I walked into the office and I sat down. And when I sat down, the therapist came out. Hi, Robin, come on in. And I just s smiled. And then I had the service with him. And then that was it. So that was things that I'm saying to you is I expected miracles to happen in my life. I call those things miracles because they're so, and they're delightful. And I make a game of it. So I encourage you to maybe think about things smaller because because gratitude doesn't have to be for big massive things it's all the little things it's the little things that add up like when we talked last week about just doing those one minute short mindfulness meditation exercises these add up and it happens to me all the time in my life i just go what miracle is going to happen today? I'm grateful and excited. So I encourage you to think about gratitude in this way of it's all the little things that happen in your life. So at, at gratitude is energy. So I could say, oh, thank you, water. Thank you for this. But it's, you've got to add more to it. So when you're thanking, it, thanking, that's the thought. I'm being grateful. I'm thanking. I'm appreciative. But what's the feeling you get? when you're doing it. So when I said I make it a game, I make it playful. So I'm in a higher vibration doing that. And when I do that, I can feel my heart. It's expanding. It feels warm. So I encourage you to think about what sensations do you feel when you're actually feeling the thought? Because when you put the thought with the feeling, that's where magic begins. The feeling is the workhorse of what we're creating. So you want to think about that. How am I feeling? So if you're feeling funky and irritated and just ugh, life's hard, the universe will give you more of that. When you're thinking, thank you. What a beautiful day. We've got a beautiful sunny day. Thank you, universe. Thank you for that parking spot. Thank you for the woman in the elevator who opened it for me. Thank you for the, um, the physiotherapist being on time today. He was, it was right on time. All these things, that's where the beauty is. And when you bring the thought with the feeling, that feeling, that's where the miracles happen. So I wanted to just share that with you today because it's, it's so powerful and I just, sometimes life for me, it's just, I just giggle as I'm walking through because I'm going, oh, look at that. And it can be as simple as someone just smiling to you and you smiling back to them. So that's where I'm going to encourage you to focus your intention. So we've got a lovely meditation today. I'm excited to do it with you. It's, um, it's going to be... A, um, it's, we're going to take you into a space and then it's just affirmations, which are very, very powerful and positive. So just again, let's just get comfortable. You're probably in a very relaxed state from that, um, the balancing our chakras and the grounding. So let's just, again, let's just come together, get comfortable wherever you are. And I welcome 
encourage you to close your eyes. It's always, for me, it's easier to close my eyes. I can visualize and go places more easily than when they're open. So I just would like you to take a deep breath in and exhale slowly. So let's go. And a gentle exhalation. And another deep breath in. And this time when we let go, we're visualizing tension leaving our body. And with our next breath in, we're letting go even more. You may be feeling your shoulders drop. You're feeling softer. You're relaxing more into wherever you're sitting or laying down. So one more breath. Allowing yourself to just surrender. With our next breath, we're starting to feel, I want you to visualize yourself feeling a bit weightless. So you're just lighter in the body. All those colors are infusing and still flowing through. You're just feeling light, kind of effervescency, maybe like um, bubbles just popping and just feeling that feeling. It brings a smile to my face. So, And just allowing yourself to just continue Continue to surrender and let go. With our next breath, I want you to know and surrender more and know you are supported. I am here. I've created this sacred space for us today where you are protected and safe. So you can just let go in this moment. You can let go of all your thoughts, any concerns any worries. Just for this time, let's let that go and just be here now. I just want to, to think about what sensations are you feeling? Are you noticing anything in the body? Are you noticing the temperature of the room. Is it cool or is it warm? I invite you to notice if you hear sounds. Do you hear any birds? Any traffic? Just notice what you notice in this moment. Just bringing awareness to the different sensations you may be feeling. If you're feeling an ache somewhere, just bring some of that golden energy into that area. Beautiful. So I invite you to be present, present in this moment. So I'm going to just lead you through a series of affirmations. You're welcome to either say them out loud or just repeat them in your mind. It's perfectly fine. So I'd like you to take a deep breath in and let go. I am grateful for this moment. I am grateful for this moment. I am grateful for this moment. Now take a deep breath in and exhale. I am grateful for my family. I am grateful for my family. 
I am grateful for my family. Inhale. Exhale. I am grateful for my friends and my community. I am grateful for my friends and my community. I am grateful for my friends and my community. Inhale. Exhale. I am grateful for my body and my mind. I am grateful for my body and my mind. I am grateful for my body and my mind. Inhale. Exhale. I am grateful for the experience of my life. I am grateful for the experience of life. I am grateful for the experience of life. Inhale. Exhale. I am grateful for the food that nourishes my body. I am grateful for the food that nourishes my body. I am grateful for the food that nourishes my body. And inhale. Exhale. I am grateful for the water I drink. I am grateful for the water I drink. I am grateful for the water I drink. Inhale. Exhale. I am grateful for the water that cleanses my body. I am grateful for the water that cleanses my body. I am grateful for the water that cleanses my body. Inhale, exhale. I am grateful for the money that I receive. I am grateful for the money that I receive. I am grateful for the money that I receive. Inhale. 
Inhale. Exhale. I am grateful for all the opportunities in my life. I am grateful for all the opportunities in my life. I am grateful for all the opportunities in my life. Inhale. Exhale. I am grateful for everything that I receive. I am grateful for everything that I receive. I am grateful for everything that I receive. Inhale. Exhale. I surrender all my stress and choose joy. I surrender all the stress and choose joy. I surrender all my stress and choose joy. Inhale. Exhale. I am worthy of abundance. I am worthy of abundance. I am worthy of abundance. Inhale. Exhale. I am a magnet for miracles. I am a magnet for miracles. I am a magnet for miracles. Inhale. Exhale. I am so blessed for everything that I have. I am so blessed for everything I have. I am so blessed for everything that I have. Inhale. Exhale. I expect and accept miracles. I expect and accept miracles. I expect and accept miracles. Inhale. 
exhale. The universe always provides. The universe always provides. The universe always provides. Inhale. Exhale. I am worthy of abundance. I am worthy of abundance. I am worthy of abundance. Inhale. Exhale. I am a magnet for miracles. I am a magnet for miracles. I am a magnet for miracles. Inhale. Exhale. I am so blessed for everything that I have. I am so blessed for everything that I have. I am so blessed for everything. I have. Inhale. Exhale. I expect and accept miracles. I expect and accept miracles. I ex accept and expect miracles. Inhale. Exhale. The universe always provides. The universe always provides. The universe always provides. Inhale. Exhale. Allow yourself to feel the joy, the gratitude, and the excitement for everything that you have in this moment. Allow yourself to feel the joy, the gratitude, and the excitement for everything that you have in this moment. Inhale. Exhale. Now I want you to feel the joy, the gratitude, and the excitement for everything that you're going to bring into your life.
Allow yourself to feel the joy, the gratitude, and the excitement for everything that you're going to bring into your life. Inhale, exhale. <laughs> I just want to share with you, this is um, such a beautiful meditation. And just think about it for a moment. What are you grateful? Just reflect on all the beauty you have in your life. We are all blessed. You are blessed. Life is a miracle. You are a miracle. Allow yourself to believe this. You are a brilliant, shining light. Being in gratitude for what attracts, will it help? Being in gratitude for things you have and just these feelings will attract more into your life. You are a gift. just like you in the next minute to just start to come back, come back into this, this reality. I could feel the energy, everyone. It just felt beautiful. As you come back in, if you're able to just wriggle your fingers and toes, if you're not, that's okay. If you can touch your body, it just helps bring us back in. And when you're ready, open your eyes.